takes Madis Kabash and I'm about to go speak to a comic dealer about NFTs. Now, NFTs or non-fungible tokens are a way of classifying artwork through the blockchain, making it possible to sell it in a purely digital form. The comic book industry would be an obvious winner in this, one would assume, but that's not the case as Marvel and DC have clamped down on sales of NFTs with their characters. So the comic book industry is predominantly made up of Marvel and DC. So Marvel and DC are the two big players because they own the majority of, of the IPs that you'll see on TV. So the majority of artists and creators that become big in the industry ultimately will have some dealings with Marvel and DC. And do they pay well? That's, that's very dependent on the individual. Um, if you're a new starter, then Marvel and DC tend to pay at a much lower level. What artists make money from is from selling the original artwork. Okay, so let's cut to the chase. Do you sell NFTs? Currently, no. Um, predominantly because of the fact that Marvel and DC do not allow NFT sales of any of their projects from the artists that draw digitally. So that makes it quite hard to sell NFTs. I, I don't, I, I'd be interested if that stance softens, but as it stands at the moment, we, we, we have to wait and sort of see what Marvel and DC tell everybody. Why do you think they issued this ban? I mean, like, if I can sell the physical original, why can't I sell it in a digital format? I think the problem is, is that over the years, because a lot of artists have moved to a digital platform, that ultimately then hurts them in terms of selling artwork because they don't have physical artwork to sell. But if that difference can be bridged and they can effectively sell on NF sell NFTs, then it will change things dramatically. I, I think if Marvel and DC soften their attitude towards NFTs, then I think the marketplace opens. I mean, I mean, some of those pieces could be sold for thousands. As we left the Brixton warehouse, it became evident that NFTs are a new frontier. But simply put, they are a way for artists to make more money. What I wanted to do is do a proof of concept, right? The only way I could show to do that was to burn my own artwork which in its own way was very cathartic. It sold for 182,000. When I saw that, when, you know, I'm sitting and watching the auction and I was just like, what? And what do you think is the potential of NFTs in the comic industry? A new market like this allows them to not only create, but to tap into other monies. And it also breaks the chains of traditional paychecks. So Marvel and DC aren't very happy with this whole NFT situation. Um, what's your take on that? There is a Supreme Court law out there that, that, is, that has been passed that an artist can paint or do one of, can do an original piece. That's theirs. That's their interpretation. That's their everything. After speaking to artists and dealers in the US and the UK, I wanted to find out just how important NFTs will be in the arc of comic history. The value that it can bring to different types of creators or consumers is pretty profound. So the main reason that art or collectibles have taken off is because you can pass a royalty so that every time a piece of artist's work gets sold in, in the future, they receive a cut of that, which is pretty impactful if you're talking about you know, the, the full length career of an artist. Despite the size of the NFT market at the moment, they will be a crucial part of the comic book industry's next evolution. And companies issuing major bans are defining who's going to reap the financial benefits when the time comes. Any big company that comes in there and wants to, wants to take that in and just sort of strangle the artist a little bit, I really think need to, to think about it. Think about what they're doing. In August, Marvel launched into the NFT space via an app called Vivi, selling NFTs of Spider-Man for up to $400. So far, there has been no mention of the creators of the NFTs or the original work. Marvel says they are looking into the issue and will be addressing it in the coming months.